80% chores, 20% magic. My mom just heard that on a radio station. Of course, now she says we have to live by it. But that's how we do it. We learn, we figure stuff out, and we stick to it. On our farm, some things live and some things die. And thankfully, there's always new life. We prefer the magic, but my parents say you can't enjoy that without the work. We spend lots of time together, and the outdoors is our playground. Winter or summer, waves or rocks. We have been active as long as I can remember. This is my dad. He's an art teacher at my school. Thankfully, he does not teach me yet, but I hear he does cool stuff. He also teaches physics, and last year they did a really cool project, launching a balloon into space. The whole school got to watch, and they got some really cool footage of where we live on Earth. He is also a musician, I think. This is my mom. She is also a teacher, but mostly works at home. She does all the stuff we don't want to do like using sheep brains to tan its hive, or capturing swarms of wild bees. So we have honey, which is actually pretty sweet. She is really active teaching us how to surf and climb. My youngest sister Faye is still at home with mom, helping with all the chores around the farm. Even though she is small, she loves to work, but she's mostly a girly girl. And while she'd rather be in a dress, she still loves hanging out with us. Jonah's my only brother. He's the most annoying one in the house. He is totally a boy and loves to be crazy and wild. He is very active and loves sports driving cars, and catching frogs. He is also a pain to bring climbing because he always steals our mats. But most of the time, we try to get along. My sister Chloe has special needs. She has a chromosome disorder and almost died at birth. When she was born, she was really small. But now, she is bigger and stronger. She doesn't talk, but she loves swimming and animals. She's also very active. Love you, Chloe! And this is me, Eve. Nice to finally meet you. Like everyone in my family, I like sports and animals. Even the scary ones. My favorite thing to do is go on our family adventures. Every two and a half years, we leave our friends back home Pack everything into a van and tent trailer and leave our Canadian winter to head south. It's crazy to watch the snow melt in a matter of days. We get to watch forests become jungles. We get to see crazy new places and animals for the first time. Even though we do not go to school, we learn about lots of interesting stuff on our trip. We visit historic sites and national parks. The rangers run really cool programs and we get to interact with our daily lessons. It's fun to wake up in a totally new spot every few days. The views you see are spectacular and sometimes it's hard to leave. Most of our days are spent hiking and sightseeing some of the most amazing landscapes on the earth. We are so thankful to have these unforgettable memories and we will share them with each other for the rest of our lives. Someday I hope I can do the same thing with my own family. Our travels are so different from our regular life that seems like a dream. But after four months, we are always excited to go home. Even with our incredible memories, we miss our family and friends. 
Going back to school and work makes our road trip so much more special. I guess mom was onto something after all. 80% chores, 20% magic is a great way to live. Now the countdown is on until we go on another new adventure.